Hi guys, so after talking about mandalas and radial symmetry, we are going to do a hidden name radial symmetry mandala. So what we want to do is start in pencil and on the back of your sheet of paper, the side that doesn't have the grid lines, you're going to write your name. Even though your name will be hidden in the drawing, I want to make sure it's on the back. The front side has this grid line, and what this grid line is going to do is help you keep your radial symmetry. We want to think about this like a piece of pizza. What you do in one slice, you're going to do the same exact thing in another slice. You can pick your first name, your last name, or your initials or any combo of those. Keep in mind you only have a certain amount of grid lines to fit in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, A and then Smith, just cause I think it'll look nice in this section. The way you wanna start is in the middle. What you do in one section, you are going to have to do in the next section. It does not matter which way your letters go, this is going to be a little bit abstract. So I'm gonna start with an A. Then I thought it would look nice to do a period. Then I'm gonna do my Smith. So I'm gonna stretch my letter in that grid line. Next, I'm gonna do my M. And I think I'm gonna turn my M like this and fill that grid line. Next is I. I think it will look nice if I turn it this way and curve it. Next is T. For T, I'm gonna go like this. And then for the last one is H. So I'm gonna go H. And notice how I get towards the end, it gets stretched out. A, S, M, I, T, and H. Notice how my letters are turned, it's very abstract. What I do in this pie slice, or this pizza slice, I have to do the same exact thing in the next pizza slice. So if you would like to turn your paper while you work, you can. Using those grid lines, I'm doing the same exact thing. Perfect. So you can see how all of the radial symmetry really makes this look abstract. And when you add the pieces of the pizza together, it creates this really cool illusion. I'm going to add a few extra details just around my circle to really bump up all the details within it. All right, my grid lines are in, all in pencil. Next couple options, we wanna start adding color. We're using markers for this. We have um, our fat markers, we have our skinny markers. We also have Sharpie. If you would like, you can use your Sharpie to outline some of your lines. I think I'm gonna outline first and then start adding in color second. Now that my Sharpies are all done, I'm just gonna take an eraser and really erase these pencil lines to make it look finalized before I start adding color.
perfect so my piece is done I did leave a few white spots and I really went in to make sure I liked the details that I added in each section